Oh my god, squid, no! Oh! Oh! How much time have you decided to create a new Minecraft world, only for you to soon get bored because you've ran out of things to do? Well, luckily for you, I've got some ideas so you don't have to abandon your world just yet. The new 1.18 update came with some really cool caves, so I decided to do what any insane person would and turn this death trap into a minigame. So what was normally just a trick for some resources like iron and coal, you can now turn it into a really cool Alicia course. Because guess what? You don't have to worry about making the obstacles considering it's already a deadly cave. So you know, that's pretty handy. I do advise you put on some lights in the hoops though, because otherwise... Yeah, stuff like that happen. Anyway, moving on! Now seriously, Comment below how much people have just ended up ditching the end and never going back to it once they've killed the dragon, because I sure have, which is why I had the great idea to transform it. Considering the results of the new moss blocks and dirt in 1.18, I think it'll be a really cool idea to make the end look like it's been like taken over by nature. Like once the players went through, it's broken the barrier protecting it from the overworld. Now all the plants are like seeping through and it's all like ruined and stuff. Now this idea is very transformative since you can literally make it look like whatever you want whether that be stone, water, jungle, but that's the best part. It's completely open for anything. Now if you did decide to transform the end you'd probably need to have some form of transport. This is where the nether hub comes in. With this new dripstone I thought it'd be cool to make a cave themed nether hub because let's be honest we all don't want to spend about half an hour just walking through trying to find the portal to the end from the overworld. That takes far too long for anyone. Why not make use of the whole never roof which is completely flat and transform it into like some transportation area. I know a lot of people like on Hermitcraft tend to do this. I think it'd be really cool to make it like all cave themed and have portals like in the in the like carvings of the rocks because let's be honest this looks really cool. <laughs> Problem is getting to the top of the bedrock although there is many tutorials on how to break bedrock and I'm sure there's already like a million ways to do it in 1.18. Now let's not abandon the overworld with this. There's still some ideas I have to spice up the place. Adding paths around the world is something that I personally think is basically essential when you have a survival world full of buildings or soon to be buildings. <laughs> Because not only does it help with you getting around and actually knowing where to go if you've like got a build that's like a thousand blocks away, but also makes the place feel much more lived in considering, you know, it looks like there's constantly people like exploring the place and like traveling far and stuff and it just, it makes, a, it makes your world just feel much more alive instead of just some random buildings scattered about the place. This is why I like to add like big patches of farms and windmills and stuff into them. Let's say for example you're traveling a lot and you're now running out of food. Well luckily for you there's like a huge field full of wheat there so you don't have to worry about running out of food considering there's just randomly patches of farm and you can just craft some bread. But also if I'm like running out of food I've got a place to go in case I have and I can go like sleep in the windmill in case there's like it's night time and there's lots of mobs. It's generally useful while also making the world feel much more vibrant and alive. If I was in survival right now this would be a really bad thing to come back to. This one may seem a bit controversial, but I do think clearing the ocean monument is one of the coolest projects you can do. Not only do you get a bunch of food if you turn it into a guardian farm in the middle, and lots of building blocks and infinite sea lanterns, but you also get this really cool waterfall effect going around the entire build. One of my favourite examples is Phil's of Minecraft, the best man ever, because if you look at his flower fall, you've got this whole ring of water flowing down with nature being all centred around the middle and I think it's really cool. Now it will take ages, I'm not saying it's a fast project, but I do think it's one that a lot of people... You, you, it feels very satisfying at the end of it, and it's one of the coolest things you can do, in my humble opinion.